What's going on lads and welcome to another video. I've been requested, um, people have been asking me about the 41212 uh, custom tactics, if they still work, if I'll still keep everything the same. I've actually changed my bit so I'm just going to do an updated video for you guys. 41212 is a very popular formation and for me the best formation on the game. I'm going to be showing you with my RTG team, it's not looking so bad at the minute. But just so you guys are not like, oh you've got a super team, you do it with a normal team. This is a completely normal team. Militao untradeable, can't help that. Obviously Jesus untradeable, the rest. What the Divas play is what 40 grand and that's the patter at the minute. So apart from that, it's not a super team. You guys will see how good this team actually is. If you watch my Road to Glory, this is a bit of a, a bit of a let's say um what's the word actually? It's um <laughs> oh, I completely forgot the word. A bit of a spoiler, that's it, a bit of a spoiler because gameplay is gonna be from that. So you will be seeing that again in the Road to Glory, but obviously in more depth, this is just going to be goals and goals and whatnot. So yeah, guys, this is obviously the team that I've got. It will not stay that way. This is a 4-1-2-1-2. This is what I do. And just because I've got it in the ultra-attacking doesn't mean it is an ultra-attacking formation. I don't go by these. as I'll keep that ultra-defensive just for now, but 4 2 3 one isn't defensive. That isn't attacking and that isn't ultra-attacking. If anything, that is ultra-attacking. It's just how I set them up. It doesn't actually mean they need to be ultra-attacking. My 4-1-2-1-2 is what I use 95% of the time. It's what I feel most comfortable with. So that is just a go-to formation. It's easy to find. It's at the end of the list, so that's why I use it there. It's not necessarily an ultra-attacking formation. Um, this is how it's going to set up now. We've got drop back. Always drop back, like I say. Since the patch, drop back is absolutely key. Whip 4, depth 4. You can switch between 3 and 4 depending on how you play, how good your defenders are. If you've got, like, good, I've got really fast defenders... So I go it on four, but if you haven't, I would drop it to three. Offensive style, fast build up. I like to play fast through the middle, etc. And you can see in the little graphic at the bottom how it is. You say your full back wins it. Go straight to your centre mid, to your to your cam, to your strikers very, very quickly, and that is how you need to you need you need to like basically play. You need to play through the middle. There's no point in holding the ball out wide. You need to play through the middle as fast as you can. Whip five. Just so it spreads out a bit more, like because um, crossing is obviously very, very good at the minute, and I've got some power, so that works really well. So when I've got um, the ball with even my cam or my opposite striker to the power, I'll kind of like run to the end, not like on the wing, but I'll kind of run like off centre of the goal, not directly through the middle. If I want to cross it, cross it, and the is at the far post. That that way, five works really, really well for me. You can switch between four if you want it a bit more narrower. If not, I keep it on five. Plays in the box four. You don't want your centre mids charging into the box. You want them to stay. So if, if the ball does get headed out, well, they win the ball and they can go. Literally, all you need to do then is sit back and your centre mids are all in position, ready. You don't need to do anything. Like, like I always say, take advantage of manual defending as well. You don't want to be rushing your centre mid. You don't want to be rushing your defenders out of position. Let them kind of do the, the defending. Only like charge with one centre mid if you if you want to like run them up and down the pitch. Don't like keep putting them out to play. You'll get picked apart so so easy. Corners always on three. Three kicks on two. Nobody crosses it anyway. This is what it looks like in game. Uh, Defence obviously the same as it was. Allen holding midfielder. I prefer medium high in the the CDM role. So Allen works perfectly well. Nangalen high high, Militao medium high. I always try to go with two defensive minded centre mids, so Militao and Allen being that. Nangalen a box to box as well, which I really, I can't stress enough how important a box to box midfielder is. Nangalen is very key. Quadrado at Cam, obviously he isn't the best Cam, he hasn't got the best shooting, but this is an RTG team, so I haven't got many options to choose from. Philippe, could put Philippe Anderson in there, but that would mean Quadrado up front, so at the minute I'm a bit stuck. Obviously, you guys won't have this team. You'll have better teams, better players. If it can, Hazards, Neymar, and Mbappe's, etc. Felipe Anderson uh, up front. I like to have a quick striker and like like a brute like Zapata. He's so so good. I'll show you Zapata's stats after this. All in rivals. He's so so sick, guys. Um, instructions: Stay central, get in behind. Stay central, get in behind, and stay forward on both my strikers. Exactly the same. Cam. Stay forward, that is it. You want your free attackers to be your free attackers. You don't want could, like your attacking mid coming back. You want him to stay forward. You want him to be the focal point of the attack. So he's very key. Centre mid. Stay back while attacking. Cover centre on both now. Before I didn't. Before I only had it on one. Now I have it on both. Because I don't want to get counter-attacked. I was getting counter-attacked a lot. So I do not want to get counter-attacked. So stay back while attacking on both of them. 
stay back while attacking on a full backs with overlap, overlap. I say every single time, you're probably sick of me hearing it. Just keeps you defend your full backs out wide. Stops them like making an inverted run towards your centre mids. Keeps them out wide. They're not going to overlap. It just keeps them, keeps their position basically. Um, but that is it, guys, for for the four one two one two. And I'll go into gameplay now, and I'll show you how well this actually works. Yes, lads. So this is the gameplay footage. You will see the teams I've come up against. I am in Division Three, so with this RGD team is unbelievable. You will see the results I actually get. Super team again straight away. And there's one team in particular that is absolutely insane. I come up against absolutely insane. But that is the first one. You'll see what happens. This team is so so sick, guys. If you can afford the team, fucking seriously get it, man. It is so so sick. Pires doing bits there. I didn't really rate Pires. Pires wasn't really that good for me in seven games. He only scored like three goals and got one assist. He wasn't he wasn't the best. If you're thinking about buying him at all, I would not spend the coins on Pires. He did actually score there, nice little finish, nice, nice little run. The main player in this team, guys, is Zapata. Zapata is so, so good. See him here. Pires working hard, cuts it back. Right place at the right time for Zapata. His headliner card would be absolutely unreal. Like that, this is the only version I can afford at the minute. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna buy him. I can't afford him. But it's 84. It's, it's so so good. And like I said there, when I explained why I have width on five, it because it keeps the strikers quite, quite wide when they're running forward. And you saw it there when Cadrado went for own goal and chipped it to the far post. And one of my strikers was actually there. If you have it too narrow, they could be too central and miss the cross. That worked absolutely perfect there. See the second team, couple of headliners, informs, players of the moms, whatever. Zapata, that back heel from Quadrado was absolutely insane to Zapata. Got it onto his left foot, finished it easy. That kind of goal is easy for Zapata. He's so, so good. Non-England shot gets blocked, comes back. Quadrado, like I said again, a crosses is sick with Zapata. Crossing is amazing. Zapata there, I bet the defender. All ends up. I've got a hawk on him, so it actually improves his jumping. And this is the team I'm on about, guys. Look at that. There is absolutely no weakness in that team. He, if he had Ronaldo on centre mid, Ronaldo would have better chemistry, but I don't know why he's got him as an ST. But apart from that, look at that team. Team of the years. Cut him open. Felipe Anderson pops it in the bottom corner. One twos work sick with this. Cam to your striker, to your other striker, and you're through. Like I said in my 4 1 2 1 2 before, people were like, oh, it's, it's chip through balls aren't working. They are, guys. You literally see it. Zapata held off team of the year Ramos, outpaced him, outstrengthed him, and then put it past the hair. Six it goal. And you see Zapata here. People might put him off because he might oh he looks clunky, he's dribbling, look at him here. Holds him off, gets it onto his right, and pings it top corner. Six it goal from Zapata. That is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this formation works for you. Thank you all for the support recently. I recently just became a partner. So thank you for that, guys. It's down to you, and I'll see you in the next video.